Have you ever wondered who measured the size of the earth? So about a thousand years ago, a legendary Persian Muslim scientist measured the circumference of the earth from his hilltop observatory not far from Lahore, the cultural capital of Pakistan. Which, by the way, you should definitely visit. The man was Abu Rehan Al Biruni, and the place was Nandana Fort. How about we take a trip there right now? On the magnificent salt range of Punjab, you can see a historical wonder: the ancient Nandana Fort. Standing tall on the lush green plateau of Potohar, Nandana Fort is strategically located on a hilltop near the village of Baghamwala, in district Jhelum, which is on the eastern flank of the Salt Range. It was built in the 8th century by the Hindu Shahi dynasty, and is named after the mythological garden of the Hindu god Lord Indra. It's accessible from both the motorway and GT road. The fort was built for the surveillance of the Nandana Pass and as a deterrent for invaders. The Nandana Fort remained a stronghold of the Hindu Shahi dynasty until it was captured in 1013 by Mahmud of Ghazni. And with Mahmud came the legendary Muslim scientist Abu Rehan Al Biruni. What you're seeing from here was known as the Nandana Pass. The Nandana Pass itself was an ancient stone road that connected India with Afghanistan and Central Asia. This was the very same route used by Alexander the Great in his epic clash with Raja Porus at the Battle of Hydaspes in 326 BC. Al Biruni's purpose was to document the history, science and culture of the region. So once Mahmud of Ghazni went back to Afghanistan, Al Biruni stayed back. And thank God for that. I am standing at the very spot where Abu Rehan Al Biruni had his observatory in the 11th century. This is where he quantified the radius and circumference of this little blue dot we call home Abu Rehan Al Biruni being a mathematical visionary combined algebra and trigonometry to solve the epic problem of calculating the size of the earth having read Al Biruni's description let me tell you how he estimated the size of the earth Al Biruni needed a mountain top from where he could see the flat horizon and Nandana Fort was ideal for that But first, he needed to measure the height of the mountain. He did this by going to two points in the valley which were in a straight line with the mountain top. Then, he measured the distance between those two points. And finally, he measured the angles between those points and the mountain top. To do this, he used a device called an astrolabe, which is basically a giant protractor with angles and degrees and a pointer to determine his line of sight. Now he had enough information to measure the height of the mountain using trigonometry and algebra. He needed only one more measurement to get the size of the earth. Angle of the line of sight of the horizon as it dips below the horizontal. Now here's the amazing part. Al Biruni imagined the mountain as a large right angle triangle which has three corners: the mountain top, the horizon, and the center of the earth. Using trigonometry Al Biruni figured out that the angle of the horizon and the height of the mountain were related to the radius of the earth and algebra helped him calculate it. This was the formula that allowed Al Biruni to calculate the circumference of the earth, which by the way is within 200 miles of the value that we know of it to be today, about 25,000 miles. That is an accuracy of 99%. And that too when it was measured almost 1000 years ago. Let that sink in. The Nandana complex comprises of a fort, a temple and a mosque. The temple is known as the Shiva temple and it was built by Ananda Pala, son of the Shahi king Jayapala, somewhere early in the 9th century. 
The mosque was built by Mahmud of Ghazni when he took over the fort from the Hindu Shahi Raj. Nandana remained under Muslim rule until the Sultan of Khwarazm was defeated by the Mongol hordes in the 13th century. The furious Mongols, led by the ruthless Genghis Khan himself, used the Nandana Pass to chase the fleeing Sultan and capture the fort. I mean, what history this place has! A couple of centuries later, when the Mughals recaptured the fort and the pass, Nandana became a place for leisure. Finally, no more wars and invasions. There are historical records of the Mughal emperors Jalaluddin Akbar and Jahangir mentioning Nandana as a place for relaxation and hunting in the 16th and the 17th century. Though Nandana is in Pakistan, its significance is global. This is a place that belongs to all humanity. This hidden marvel of heritage was recently highlighted during Prime Minister Imran Khan's visit to Nandana. The Prime Minister himself takes keen interest in cherishing and preserving our glorious past for generations to come. Government of Punjab, under the vision of Prime Minister Imran Khan, has decided to preserve, restore and promote Nandana, as well as the incredible contributions of Abu Rehan al-Biruni towards humanity. The first step towards making this dream a reality is the formation of the radius, which will include seven historical sites from the region, including Nandana Fort, Shiva Temple, Katas Raj, Tila Jogian, Kyora Salt Mines, Malat Fort, and Takhte Babri. What you see here right now are perhaps just ruins, but every stone here is steeped in history. The wind whispers stories, the skies have borne witness to the kings and heroes who have made our world what it is today. Come and have a look. We're right here, waiting.